Right, so now we're moving on to reflections. Uh, you can see here the question tells you to reflect this triangle and it'll always tell you where you want your mirror line to be. So this is telling you that the x-axis is going to be the line of reflection. It's where the mirror is going to lie. Now, when you have a reflection, um, the perpendicular distance, the right angle distance from every corner on your shape to the mirror is then reflected exactly in the opposite direction. So that distance from C is one square, which means the reflected point of C would be one square the other side of that mirror line. For point A, we've got one, two, three, four. So it'll be reflected one, two, three, four, the opposite side of the mirror. And B, um, one, two, three, one, two, three. So once you've plotted your points, use a ruler then to join those points together. So the key thing with the reflection is to work out where you're putting your mirror. So in the x-axis, that's your x-axis, that's your mirror. With this question, it's a reflection. But this time, the mirror line is the y-axis. So that means that our mirror is going to be there on the y-axis. So the corner, the point B is one square away from the mirror line. So its reflected point will be one square in the other, from the other side. Point A, one, two, three, four, five, will be reflected one, two, three, four, five in that direction and point C, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, there. So there you go, um, that's two reflections. Question six, A is a rotation, so we get our tracing paper. And this is a rotation of shape A, 90 degrees clockwise, and we need to pivot it around the point minus two, zero, which is that point there. So get your tracing paper, trace the shape that we want to rotate, draw in an arrow. Now 90 degrees is quarter of a turn, clockwise is in this direction. So we're going to want to turn it until that arrow is pointing right, which is there. Okay, so we can see there that the shape triangle is going to go from minus four down like that. Label the image B, just call it B. The second one on this question is a reflection. And this time the mirror line is the line Y equals X. Now what the line Y equals X is, is the line where the X and the Y coordinate are the same all the way. So 2, 2 is on the line Y equals X because the X and the Y coordinates are the same. Similarly 4, 4 six six eight eight so your line y equals x just get it right is that line there so let's write that in as y equals x okay so when you're reflecting on the line y equals x Remember what I said that um, the reflection always acts at right angles to the mirror. So this time, at right angles to that mirror is basically a diagonal across the square. So that point there is one diagonal below the mirror. So its reflection is going to be one diagonal that way. And similarly, this point Uh, where are we? That point there is half a diagonal, so that's going to end up 
there and that point is on the mirror so that stays where it is if you touch in the mirror that's what happens in the reflection so our reflected triangle is there okay so with that one because the shape crosses the mirror you've got that point going from below the mirror line to above the mirror line and you've got this point here copying the opposite direction so it's going half a diagonal to half a diagonal and that's going to be the image C so that's quite a tricky one Right, with this question, describe fully the transformation that transforms triangle A on to triangle B. Okay, so we need to say what's happened to it. Um, you can see that it, it's not a translation because the shape has changed. Um, it's not an enlargement because it's the same size. It's not really a rotation. You, hopefully you can see it's a reflection one of those is the mirror, mirror image of the other. So it's going to be a reflection, but we need to say where the mirror line is going to be. Now the mirror line is going to be exactly halfway between those two um, points there. So we've got one, two, three, four. So there's four spaces between them. So the mirror line is going to be halfway, which is going to be two which means it's a reflection in that line and that line, anywhere on that line, has the x coordinate of 1. So that's known as the line x equals 1 because it doesn't matter where you are, there it's 1, 1, there it's 1, 2, there it's 1, 3, there it's 1, minus 3 and so on. So it's a reflection in the line x equals 1. So for your two marks there, one mark you get for spotting the reflection and the second mark would be for saying where the mirror line was in the line x equals 1. Right, and then part B, we've got a rotation. There's what we're turning it through and that's the direction that we're going. And that's what we're pivoting about. So the origin is there, so the centre of our rotation is going to be there. It's going to be a quarter of a turn, and this time it's anti-clockwise. So it's going to be turning in this direction. So trace your shape. Put your arrow on it. So it's going to be a quarter of a turn anti-clockwise. So I'm going to rotate this until the arrow is pointing directly left. Which is going to be there. So I can see that it's going from there to there and then down to that point there. Okay, so that's a rotation 90 degrees, quarter of a turn, anti clockwise, and you're pivoting in that case about the origin. Okay, question eight. Describe the single transformation that takes the shape marked A onto the shape marked B. Well, it's not a reflection, it's not a rotation, uh, sorry, it's not a translation because the shape is no longer an upward pointing heart. It's the same size, so it's not an enlargement. So this question, I'm guessing, will be a rotation. It looks as if it's going to rotate about the origin. So if I just check before I write it down. So I've traced that. I've got my upward pointing arrow and I'm going to rotate it around the origin until the heart copies over. So that was a quarter of a turn. So it's a rotation. First mark. 90 degrees that was going in an anti-clockwise 
direction. So rotation one mark, 90 degrees anti-clockwise, second mark about the origin because that's where I was holding my rotation from, is the origin. So there's my third mark. So rotation one mark, 90 degrees anti-clockwise, second mark about the origin, the third mark. And then the final question in this bundle. First part is a, is a reflection. Again, it's in the line y equals x. Line y equals x would be 1, 1, 2, 2, and so on. So let's draw that line on so we can see what's happening. So that's the line y equals x. Sometimes you may be asked to reflect in the line y equals minus x and that would be a diagonal going in that direction from top left to bottom right that would be y equals minus x this question y equals x so again we're talking now about right angles to the uh, diagonal so that one from that corner is one and a half so going this way it will be a half and one so that point ends up there this point will be reflecting the other way, one and a half, half and one. So that one ends up there. And this point is one diagonal, ends up two diagonals. So those are our three points. So that's what that triangle looks like there in green. And that's image B. Looks a bit confusing, but that's what you do. All right, so you are counting diagonals. One diagonal and a half diagonal to the mirror. So in the opposite side, half a diagonal, one diagonal. This one, one diagonal and a half. So the opposite side, half and one. And then this one, one and one. Okay, and then the final question is a rotation. So we're going to rotate 90 degrees anti clockwise around 2, 1. So we get our tracing paper. Copy our shape. Point two one is across two and up one. So there's where we're rotating through. Let's put our arrow on. Okay, so we need to turn that 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So that means we're going in this direction. So we're waiting for the arrow to point left. So it's there. Okay, so let's plot those points there. So it's going from there to there. To there. Let's just check that, turn it back. So there's the shape that it's become, and that's the image D. Okay, so make sure if it's a rotation you're using tracing paper, you're aware of where you're pivoting from, you're aware of what direction you're turning, um, and make sure you put a little arrow on there and work out when to stop the turn. When you're reflecting, you need to know where to put your mirror, it's either going to be um, an x equals line, which would be vertically upwards like that, so that would be x equals 3, that would be x equals minus 4,
for example, or you'd have it there, that would be y equals minus 3, that would be y equals 4. But if it says reflect in the x-axis, that's the x-axis. If it says reflect in the y-axis, that's the y-axis.